All right, folks, welcome back to Procreate. So we're gonna show you how to use Procreate to create a t-shirt mock-up. Now, in your downloads for this section of this course, I've included a white t-shirt mock-up from Pixabay that I use all the time. So, as it's Pixabay and it's open source, I guess thank you to Pixabay, and you're welcome on behalf of Seven Season for sharing it with you. All right, so we're gonna actually create this thing and then we're gonna destroy this thing only to recreate it so you understand how to do this routinely. Now, you're going to want, if you're going to post t-shirts, to know the appropriate or approximate size of the display window for your program. In my site, it's a 1000 by 1500 pixels. So I'm gonna create a 1000 by 1500 pixel box and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it at 72 DPI and let's go ahead and create. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and shrink this down. And now we're just gonna come on in here and we're gonna insert a photo. And this photo I've already brought in. Now, this photo was a PNG. And so if you come into layers and you turn off your background layer, there you go. You've got a PNG that is already keyed out that's the technical term for it, keying it out of the background, isolating it out of the background, if you will. But I'm going to show you how this works, just in case you aren't this fortunate. So we're going to destroy the PNG, only to recreate it. So let's say here now that I have a background, and we'll make it even harder on ourselves here. I'll create a new group, my bad. Let's go ahead and destroy that group. And I'm going to create this layer, and I'm going to put it down below. And sometimes you get real lucky and you can have a layer that is absolutely 100% contrast. Now, if that's true, you'll just come up to select, you'd select it all, and then it would key out the black. But what we're gonna do now, we're gonna make it a little bit more difficult. We're gonna take it just to that off-white look. So it's kind of in a gray area so that it's close but Procreate Selection Tool doesn't recognize like smart selection like Photoshop or Affinity Photo. So let's do this. Let's take the t-shirt and let's destroy it. Click on it, merge it down. All right, so now this is a blank layer, right? I no longer have the t-shirt isolated. There are two ways you can do this. The first way is to destructively take your eraser and I'm gonna make sure that I've got my hard brush selected and you turn it down and then you slowly start chipping away, right? This is way one. So we can do it this way. This is one way that you could do it in Procreate. The way that I prefer to do it though, I'm gonna come over to the selection. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do a freehand selection and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come down along the side here and keep on trucking as I go. Oop, let's go ahead and shrink this guy down a little bit more. All right, apparently Procreate said I want to stall here. All right, so this is the second way to do it. And once you're good with this process, you can then isolate it. I'm gonna go ahead and have the editor fast forward through here. You don't need to watch me do this. I like to use selection because, as opposed to erasing, if I mess up like I just did, I can always come back and add or subtract to the selection. And I'm going slightly inside of the white. All right, once you've got that now, what we wanna do, we're gonna go ahead and with the selection now, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to, let's go ahead and save it. Now, why can't we save it? If we delve down in here, we found we have not completed it yet. Now we have. Now let's go ahead and invert. And now you'll see that the t-shirt is grayed out. Just go ahead, come over here, and cut. There you go. Now, 
You could always have added to it. You could have subtracted from it. And this is a pretty good selection. I've got some areas here that I would probably go back through. Now is when I would grab my eraser brush, shrink it down pretty small. And now I would just trim this out a little bit. And always remember the magnification. We're up at a significant magnification. Your viewers probably will never catch on to that little piece when it's 1,000. All right, now let me show you how this works. I'm going to show you how to make this fully customizable. Let's go ahead, select it, left swipe it, duplicate it. Now we're going to use a clipping mask. Click here, make the top layer the clipping mask to the below layer. And now let's add a layer in between and let's call this the color layer. So I'm going to go ahead and rename it. Color layer. All right, now watch this. Notice how that's clipped to the below? Let's make this bright red. Okay, and we're going to flood fill. Now notice nothing happened. That's because this layer is on top. Now we're going to use our blend modes. So click on the end, go to multiply, and boom. Now the beauty of this method, watch this. So let's say I want a blue shirt. No problem. All you got to do, change color. Say I want a green shirt and I want it kind of this olive drab style green. No problem. Change it to olive drab. All right. So let's go ahead now and come over to the layers panel. Let's go ahead and open it. You see where I tapped it. Make sure you are on the layer two. Let's go ahead and rename it. Let's call this shadow because this in multiply is what's changing over our shadow. And let's go ahead and apply a curve adjustment. Now, I want to be on gamma, and I'm just going to kick up the dynamics of this shirt so the lights are a little lighter, the darks are a bit darker. If you don't like this, you don't have to use it. All right, cool. I think we're pretty good here. Let's go ahead, call it on this one. Now, how do you outsource this thing? Come over here, and let's keep it as a Procreate file, but if you wanted to, you could come over. And remember, it's PNG, so you're going to want to come over and if you export it, make sure that you do a PNG so that it saves the transparency. All right, folks, that's how to make a fully customizable t-shirt mock-up in Procreate. Notice I started with the PNG that was all keyed out, and I showed you how to destroy it, so if you get a less than ideal photo, Procreate can help you out with that too. All right, let's go ahead and take the next step.